Good morning, everybody. I'm back. As promised, I'm on the water, about to head out. It took me a little while to set up all this stuff. I'm not used to all this setup, but nonetheless, I'm set up and I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm in another section of the Everglades or Alligator Alley, and um, let's see what I come across. Not too much talking today. You'll just see me in the front of the boat, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break down how the day played out. Hopefully, I can get some good catches for you guys. Fingers crossed, I would really love to catch some good fish today. Uh, let's see how it goes, and uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. Get this thing. One hook, one hook. Six fourteen. Beautiful. Ah, there she goes. When they throw water in your face, that means they're good. Here's another beauty. Camera overheated, so you guys missed the bite, unfortunately. But she hit a nice uh, locket lures swim bait. So like I said, I'm using a Locket Lures swim bait. Uh, I had to change hooks because my last hook started to open on me. So I switched back to a, or I switched to a Gamagatsu heavy gauge uh, three odd hook. And what happens with these swim baits is that over time when fish start grabbing them, they start sliding down the hook and they get caught up in these uh, pads. So I got this device that I uh, did a thread on and it's helped, these little plastic discs, I just insert it like so, right here. Pops out, and I can slide this little disc all the way up to the base of the head of this lure, and then uh, hook it the way I like, and I won't have to worry about this lure sliding down as much. So it's pretty handy. Uh, I'll tell you guys about it when I wrap up.
Just like that. behind me I have wrapped up my day it's hot it is very hot not only is it hot it's very humid so I wrapped up my day at around 12 had to load up the boat and get things done before I recorded my uh, I was recording from a from a GoPro camera and it got completely wonky it overheated several times and I was about to begin my closing here when it completely froze again so I don't know what's gonna happen there so th thankfully I got the Acasio or the Acaso V-Log camera and here I am to give you guys the closing of my Audi had a good had a good day had a good day I mean I if you guys saw, I caught that nice, close to seven pound bass on that frog. If it landed in, in the in that pad of uh, pencil grass, and the entire pad erupted, and fortunately I was able to land her. She was a beauty. I'm so happy. I'm hoping that I caught that on on on, uh, on film. And then, as you guys saw, I also caught the other. Uh, I think it was a three and a half pounder on the swim baits on the lo on the um, on the locket lure swim bait. And then after that, uh, I think you guys are going to be able to see I caught several peacock bass. Uh, to be quite honest, I could have spent the rest of the day if I wanted to catching peacocks. It was just loaded and loaded with peacocks. Unfortunately, the like like I said, the camera was giving me issues. But I could have shown you guys when I went underneath a bridge, it was just peacock after peacock all over the place. Uh, the good news in regards to peacock is going to keep me busy with business when that time comes. Um, I was, my heart, peacock bass is fun, but it's not my go-to fish. But I can't catch them as you guys can see. My passion is with the largemouth bass. And unfortunately, although they were there, because I did see plenty of them, I just couldn't coax them to bite for whatever reason. Uh, but I gave it my best. So either way, as you guys saw, the frog produced only that big bite. The swim bait produced a few bites, swimming it very, swimming it slowly inside the uh, inside that pad field. And then I switched to the jerk bait, and I caught uh, several peacocks on camera and several off camera, and I also caught a smaller bass uh, off camera as well. So, so there you have it. Uh, you'll see this report on the thread on the Florida on the Florida forums. I'm also going to do a report, but I just wanted to give you guys a showcase of uh, of what it is summer how summer fishing is out here. It can be slow. Uh, but sometimes it can be slow, but then it can pick up and surprise you with some nice fish like I did today. Uh, water temps were nearing 85 degrees. Winds were out of the west today. 
which is a good thing because it's blowing those storms, so those thunderheads, out to the beach. Uh, but honestly, I gave it a good five hours, and and that was it. I'm good. I didn't want to push it. I didn't want to dehydrate myself. I had plenty of fluids. I just didn't want to push it. The bike got the bike got slow, so there's no reason to, to 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 push it. So um, there you have it. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I uh, hope to bring you guys some new content soon. I will be fishing with Flats and Bays next week in the Bass Hunter, in the infamous marshlands that you guys see me report about. And that's going to be, I'm looking forward to this trip. I don't know how the location has been fishing. I was supposed to fish there today, but because of the weather forecasts, I don't know if you guys can see that it's getting really dark in that direction and that location is north of here and I honestly do not want to be dealing with that little boat on levees with rain and those thunderstorms so I decided to go out on the big boat instead so here I am so again uh, thank you for watching I really do appreciate it thank you so much for the comments and uh, we'll see you guys soon take care of yourselves